All right, guys. So we're picking back up on the trail here, and uh, it's the direction we're gonna go. Going across this wooden bridge, where you can see a lot of uh, the horse trails here. Obviously, horses go across here, and here's this wonderful creek that we've been seeing the entire time along the passage. So I'm going to keep it in this direction and I see horse marks on the ground. I know this is part of a horse trail. Um, thought I had a sign that says so. But anyway, uh, this is a kiosk here that basically shows you um, uh, the respect of the work that they've actually done here. Um, Blockhouse Creek. Okay, so that's what that's called. This, the creek that we've been passing is called Blockhouse Creek. Um, was channelized and nightly incised, and the banks were actively eroding and sloughing off into the creek. Many mature trees had fallen from the banks and into the creek as a result of the ongoing erosion. Below the pond, stream back erosion and Gradual sediment accumulation from the upstream led to the channel becoming overly sinus, sinus, sinuous. Excuse me. This is <clears throat> this in turn reduced the stream's ability to adequately adequately transport sediment, resulting in poor riffle and poor habitat for aquatic life. Restoration work in this section included grading adjustments to improve connectivity between the stream and its floodplain. Installation of bank stabilization measures, alignment of the channel to reduce uh, installation of grade control measurements to maintain a stable channel slope and to improve riffle and pool, uh, pool habitat. So this is what it looked like before the restoration. This is what it looked like during the restoration. And this is what it looks like now. I think that's a lot better, it's a lot more beautiful, it's a lot more slimmer, and it's not as much eroded away. So that's the beautiful, beautiful work they've done out here at uh, Fence for Blockhouse Creek, that's what it's called. There's absolutely nobody out here today, man. I seen a, uh, a truck earlier, that's about it. Looks like our passage goes right across the way here. Beautiful day guys, a little windy, a little cool, but don't mean nothing to your boy extreme. This is what I do, this is how I get it in. I actually love the cold, so. <clears throat> and this is how we know we're on the right trail here. So, ah, so we have a split that goes either left or right. And from here, I can see the Palmetto Trail sign. I'm just that good. But I can see it from here. And uh, that's just another one of the trails within the, the Nature Center park area here. So, let me show you what I was seeing from a distance. And a lot of times you can just walk up these passages. If you're not sure, walk a couple thousand feet. You should either run into a marker or some signage that will tell you that you're on the right path if it's not uh, indicated by um, the intersection right there. <sighs> so we're going uphill here. And there's not, you know, it's not very hilly at all, really. Um, you got some ups, but a lot of it is a little bit of incline. Most of it, some of it is flat. So it's dumping us back out here to a field. So let's see. Looks like the trail picks up over here. Field out here. All right, let me take a couple photos, guys. 
That's I-26 right there. I've been calling that uh, Hunter Country Road, but it's actually I-26. Passage goes that way. Your boy Extreme is going to take a couple photos, man. See you boy in a bit. All right, guys. Back on the trail here. Flipping through the other side. And I can see a field from here. GPS turned off when they got change the batteries in it. But you got a wonderful. This is a, a woodpecker that does all these holes in here, guys. I thought that was just made by the actual tree. But the holes that you see in here, all these little holes, I think is done by what they call the apileated woodpecker. And what he does, my understanding, is that he pecks into the tree and he gets the nectar out of the tree. It comes out and he just sips, 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 sips on that nectar. Basically until he's just, you know, full of nectar and he's got to poop it out. Um, but just a little bird, bird uh, knowledge there for you guys. And it looks like we're coming out to the same setup as before. Nice little tree right there. Same one we saw before, guys. And I'm gonna see if I can skirt this sideways, maybe. Duck down. Oh, got through it. There it is. Pinewoods Trail. Palmetto Trail, guys. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There's I 26. There's Hunting Country Road. Is where we're headed <clears throat> so it's about two miles on the palmetto trail and uh very good trail by the way uh, within fence that is i'm not finished with the trail still hiking it here so what we got here we got a porta potty Nice water body too. Awesome. And uh, another big area. And I'm assuming you have some paths that you could walk your dog and just hike yourself. And I mean, it's really, really nice out here, guys. There's a birdhouse in here. See the birdhouse in the trees? It's pretty cool. A multiplex, if you will. This is a little walkway here. So you can walk. We have at least one person here. So it's pretty cool, guys. So we're getting that ready to head out to Hunting Country Road over here. I'm gonna take a quick break and uh, see y'all guys in a bit. It's your boy Extreme Catfishing, man, and uh, your boy's out here on the blue wall trying to finish it up. See your boy in a bit, man. I'm out. Hi, right, guys. Boy Extreme. This wind is kicking my butt out here today. It's really chilly. That's where we came from over there. And this is the direction we're headed here. And I'll tell you, it's a Wind. See the dirt and dust all over the place? That's the wind. They did say it was going to be windy today in Tryon, North Carolina. So, well, when you come in, this is the entrance to fence to the trailhead. You got to go down this road, follow it all the way to the trailhead. Right there, down there is where uh, the trail crosses. So, it's just a big loop going through the woods. And we're going to come out here, we're going to take a left. I know that. Because there's my trail marker. And it tells me to go right. 
when I come in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and uh, we're gonna hike down <coughs> under the overpass and I think we're gonna be taking a, a left. Let me double check that statistic guys. Give me one second. So according to this map, which you can't see, we just stay on Hunting Country Road. So we're just going to stay on Hunting Country Road here. Probably going to be on Hunting Country for a good two, three miles. following the trail of the horses here and the wonderful thing about this is that there is a uh, horse crossing sign up here that we're going to follow that is 26 above our heads we're about to go over under excuse me And just in case you were wondering, there is no hunting on fence at all. Zero. Uh, trying to dodge this horse poop I see on the trail out here for the path. If you guys are going to do the blue wall, um, the last 10 miles, the last 8 miles of it, we're under the 26th bridge now. You have to be very careful the last eight miles towards fence because it's all road and uh, these are mountain roads. They don't give you much shoulder at certain times and at other times they don't give you any shoulder at all. Um, just be careful. <clears throat> you know, not, anybody, not everybody is as extreme as I am and for those that are, I congratulate you. But uh, just be careful because uh, you get pretty hairy out here. If you're not paying attention. I've driven some of these mountain roads out here. They're, uh, some of these curves leave to the imagination sometimes. If you're not paying attention. You can end up in a gully somewhere on a mountainside. Okay, so this is, all right, this is the original here to which I can't get into, nice. And the Palmetto Trail says it goes this way. So what is this way? <coughs> Nothing out close. Ah! So it goes to the left here, across this field. And uh, careful with your ankles when you cross this field. There's a lot of holes that the uh, leaves are covering up. And that's 26 right there. bridge here that we're supposed to cross. Wonderful bridge. There's our palmetto sign telling us to go straight ahead here. 
goes on the other side. So this is the actual entrance to fence up here. Uh, the address 3130, 3136. Forget the actual address number, but this is it right here. Huh. You got the kid barn over here, which is locked. Hmm. Okay. So let's find out where the heck this trail goes because I've apparently missed it. It may just hit on the country road and keep rolling. Uh, let's see. So it comes out here. I mean, you may just have to get right on hunting country. I just want to make sure there's not a wooded path that we're supposed to be taking alongside hunting country. Ah, here we go. Here we go. I think. See the wooded path. I don't see any palmetto. Ah, there it is. So let me show you this, guys. That's why I didn't see it. <clears throat> There's your palmetto sign right there. It indicates that one which to me indicates this. So this is where it picks up. And I didn't bring my gloves today. I should have. Cause it's pretty freaking cold out here. All right guys. So we're gonna head this way. Yeah. Looks like it's going uphill. All right. See y'all boys in a bit, man. It's your boy Extreme. And I'm out. And I'm cold. All right, what's up guys? Work stream here. So, there seems to be a little bit of a boo-boo here. When I came off of, uh, down under the 26 bridge, and they took a right across that bridge, and then across that little small field, and then into the, excuse me guys, I'm trying to avoid stepping on poop, and up into the woods, that's a horse trail, and the signage actually kind of indicates that that's where the passage is. But once you go up there about a thousand feet, the trail kind of just disappears. Um, there is no marker whatsoever. There's no indicator that you're still on the trail, horse trail or anything. I mean, you, you follow the horse trail up the hill and then the trail just disappears. Um, 
and it seems to be pulling away from hunting country. So I don't know if that's the trail I want to be on or not. So what I'm doing now is I'm navigating myself back downhill and I think what, the, what I'm supposed to do is to get out on the road and walk hunting country all the way down. That's what I'm getting ready to do. So I just thought I might let y'all guys know that, man. See y'all boys in a bit. All right, guys. So we're coming up on uh, East Prince Road. I think this is what this is called. And uh, we're gonna take a right here and head into that direction towards Landrum. All right, guys. Woo, just wanted to show y'all that. All right, still cool out here. Just know your boy Shane got it under control. And I'm out. Guys, going out North Trade Street in uh, Landrum, South Carolina. It says Landrum, but my phone's still telling me it's uh, sorry, phone's still telling me it's Tyron. I mean, Tryon, North Carolina. But uh, it tells us go to the right. I don't know what the name of this street is called. But I'm going to follow the signs like I'm supposed to. And boy, the wind is picking up out here. Winds are very high in here in North Carolina. I hate I forgot my gloves, I'll tell you that much. Yep, see a sign right ahead of us here. Alright, so we took a right on Durant, <coughs> which is not on the map. We're gonna cross the road here. See the Palmetto Trail sign. Tells us we're gonna go straight that way. This is a uh, no shamrock here, and there it is, Hotel Hill Road Drive. Excuse me, we're going that way, guys. All right, boy, extreme catfishing, man, and uh, your boy, ha, your boy is out. All right, guys, your boy, extreme here on uh, Greenwood Road. Getting ready to hit the intersection of uh, Asheville Highway, also known as 176. If you look for me on the map, I should be right around mile 7 is where my turn is going to be. So I'm right before mile 7 on Asheville Highway. Check this out, guys. This is a railroad. The whole guy phone iPad. This is a railroad track that goes under the bridge and through the little canyon. That is awesome. That's really, really awesome. <laughs> so this is 176 here. Whew. And uh, we're going to take a right. 176. We're gonna head up to. I know that. Taking the right because our Palmetto Trail sign tells us so. The fact that it says Ashton Highway, that tells us we're going this way too. So we're gonna go that way. And our next turn, let's see, our next turn off of Asheville is gonna be Hearthstone Road. And then it's basically a few more turns and we'll be up by Lake Lanier. <coughs> Alright guys, let me hit Asheville Highway. It's your boy Extreme Catfish, man. If you know your boy, if you know your boy is out.
What's up guys? It's your boy Extreme Catfishing here. I'm on Hearthstone Ridge Road, headed towards Butler Road. And I just thought y'all guys might want to see this beautiful Blue Mountains back there. Absolutely beautiful. I'm in actual Greenville County right now, so I'm not really sure exactly <coughs> where in Greenville County, but I know what road I'm on. And uh, this hike is becoming pretty cool, man. That is absolutely beautiful back there. Those blue mountains. And I've seen a lot of this here. Conservation easement. Pass a lot of area conservation. And there's people, you see houses down here. And it's just mountains surrounding us. So, all right, guys, let your boy Extreme get back on the road. See you, boy, in a bit. All right, guys, we got a couple of awesome things happening right now. Number one, I'm at Doug Hill and Pinnell Road, which signifies the end of the passage for me. Um, once I reach my car, I will have completed the Blue Wall Passage. But the other cool thing, guys, you see this white stuff falling in front of the camera? That is snow. It is snowing. It is snowing in upstate. This is awesome. And I remember being here first because we parked our cars here and camped here for the night. Started on the other side. Uh, but this is awesome, guys. It's snowing out here. It's really snowing. First time on the trail and it's snowing. Just finished this guy and it started snowing, so. Awesomeness. And here we go. Welcome to the Blue Wall. Preserve, Palmetto Trail, Blue Wall Passage, 0.3 miles ahead. We're going to do some type of measurements out here. Up here is where I came from before, where me and Terry came up from going from we're getting a point set all the way to here. It's uh, 11 miles, if not incorrect. It's the parking lot. As you can see, it's a whole lot more um, crowded than it was last time me and Terry were here. But uh, something's happening there, camping or something. But uh, it's snowing, guys. That is snow, you see. That white stuff falling in front of the camera, that is snow. Um, there's my car there. Uh, I just want to say that uh, this passage has been pretty awesome. Um, I've enjoyed a lot of the wooded sections. Um, it's definitely a challenge. Um, I look forward to to doing it again. To be honest with you, I really do, man. This is this is some awesome stuff. Um, I'm going to be leading a hike on this guy in about a month, so I'm probably going to be uh, uh, checking out the section that I'm going to be hiking tomorrow um, but other than that um, it's your boy Extreme Catfishing you know your boy your boy has done it he's finished another passage blue wall passage finished scratch it off the list 14 out of 22 that goes up on a percentage your boy is working towards the end of this I'm your boy Extreme Catfishing man and if you know nothing about your boy Extreme Catfishing, man, y'all need to know one thing and one thing only. In the snow, in the rain, in the sleet, maybe not the sleet, your boy is out.